The latest image creation and editing engine, GPT 1.5, has just been released in this maker. And today we're going to have a little competition with these projects and we'll see how this new GPT engine stacks up in comparison to Nano Banana and Nano Banana Pro and if it's truly worth what so many people are advertising it to be. And this will be our completely unsponsored and honest opinion. You'll see for yourselves with examples. Let's start perhaps with a project from Revit. We'll load it by clicking the send to VisMaker icon. It's already in VisMaker. We select our project and choose the GPT 1.5. Here, we're going to set it to horizontal. The first thing we want to do is render our image and simply create a final render from it. So we'll select prompt view to render right here. We'll choose the size as horizontal and then click on make. Next, we'll select the second engine, which is Nano Banana, specifically the pro version of Nano Banana. And here we have the results. Let's first take a look at the time comparison. When it comes to the timing, the older version of Nano Banana clearly comes out on top. Now let's move on to examine the quality. We will begin by focusing on the Nano Banana Pro. And here the quality is truly, truly exceptional. Let's see if GPT can now measure up to this quality. Well, unfortunately, the quality here is uh, it's quite clearly much, much worse, but it's certainly not the absolute worst either. Uh, let's check Nano Banana now in its older version to see how it presents itself. Oh, the quality here is quite poor, unfortunately. Well, in my opinion, Nano Banana, the older version is losing. Here, for example, we can observe the combination of a tree with a lawn. This is quite unrealistic. The quality of the background itself actually looks quite decent, but in my opinion, GPT handled this particular task more effectively. And of course, Pro, that's a real game changer in this scenario. It performs exceptionally well in these kinds of applications. For our second test, we'll examine how these engines manage to create close-ups and our chosen source image for this will be Nano Banana Pro. We're going to choose the prompt close-up option, then we click Make. We do the same in the GPT engine. We select make, and it's the same in Nano Banana, the older version. We'll soon see how they're going to handle it. All right, uh, Nano Banana, uh, the older version, has already rendered something for us. Of course, it easily won the time-based competition, but uh, we'll soon see the quality contest. Which engine will prove to be the best? Coming in second place, we have Nano Banana Pro specifically concerning its rendering time. And then in third position, we have GPT. Now, regarding the actual quality, we can take a closer look at it in a higher resolution. Looking here at the older version of Nano Banana, it performs well, but some of the finer details seems to be lacking from what we can observe. Unfortunately, that level of detail isn't quite as prominent as we might hope. Uh, we're taking a look at Nano Banana Pro. Well, the amount of detail here is really quite extensive. The render is extremely realistic. And when it comes to the overall quality and atmosphere, Atmosphere, it performs quite impressively. And GPT, let's check it out in its full glory. It's also very, very good. In my opinion, both Nano Banana Pro and GPT 1.5 perform quite similarly. Unfortunately, the older version of Nano Banana is losing. Now, the next competition will be to see how these engines handle furniture replacement. We can Google sofa and then choose a sofa, for example, maybe this one. Copy and we go to VisMaker and we can enlarge this view. Then we go to the Draw tab because here we can draw and paste all the images. It's very convenient and very quick. So we'll choose the selection tool right here, then right click and we'll paste it. We can slightly enlarge this image a bit and then mark that we want to replace this sofa in our picture. We're going to input the prompt, change the sofa, and then we'll generate it using Nano Banana. We'll do exactly the same for GPT and we'll also use Nano Banana Pro. Then we click on make and we'll see how well these different engines perform in this particular challenge. Rendering time, well, obviously it's Nano Banana, the older version. Here we see that, well, he got a little bit lost. He only changed the color and didn't match it perfectly. Unfortunately, in this case, he didn't replace the furniture. We could try giving Make Nano Banana a few more times, but it's possible it would have done better then. Sometimes it also depends on luck. Nano Banana Pro in this instance is more predictable, but we can see here that the second one, rendered by GPT, replaced the sofa very nicely. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, it removed that piece of furniture from the floor, but when it comes to the sofa's shape and color, it's very well reproduced. 
Nano Banana Pro is still struggling a bit here. In situations like this, we've observed that it can take a little longer to render when we change some furnitures. Well, in this particular case, in my opinion, Nano Banana Pro has a slight advantage over GPT. We can directly compare these two images right here. GPT, unfortunately, actually removed this piece of furniture and small piece of the sofa. Here we can see that it still extends further to the right side. This is what GPT really did a great job of capturing here. It's possible it slightly altered the shape of this sofa for us because it actually dips down in the middle. We didn't have that here in this photo, which GPT correctly managed. So I'd say it's a draw between uh, GPT and Nano Banana Pro in these contests. Okay, so we go to the next competition that will focus on what AI is most often used for. Yes, it is adding people to pictures. This is precisely the most common prompt utilized by designers, and we select Add People to the Image. Nano Banana Pro, we click on Make. The same with Nano Banana Old, and the same with GPT Pro. We click on make and soon we'll discover in these competitions which engine will prove to be the best. Nano Banana in its older version has already generated some results for us here. Let's see it in its full glory, how it looks. Okay, the characters are added quite well. There are not too much dis distortions on faces. It also looks very nice in the foreground. It's hard to find any errors here. And a huge advantage of Nano Banana in the older version is that it simply doesn't change our colors, shading or textures. It just does what we ask it to. So he added people, we can see that apart from that, he didn't change anything. And that's a really significant advantage of his. Now we're looking at the Nano Banana Pro and the quality is obviously much higher, because with the Nano Banana Pro, we can select higher resolutions. For instance, we rendered 2k here, the older Nano Banana only has 1k, unfortunately, so this level of detail is very, very good. Nano Banana Pro can also be used for upscaling. If we have a lower resolution, it will upscale it to 4k. And finally, let's look at GPT. Well, in these competitions, it unfortunately loses, in my opinion, here in the background, we can already see artifacts on the face, they are quite significantly distorted. In the foreground, you could say it's quite good. The render also cut us off a bit because in GPT, we can only choose these three resolutions here. In Nano Banana Pro, we can choose any desired resolutions and aspect ratio. Nano Banana Pro and old clearly emerges victorious in this contest. Why also Nano Banana old? Because it accomplished this much more quickly, keeping good quality. Okay, in this competition, we're going to see how these three engines listening to what we draw for them. So we'll draw a person a human figure in red. Let's have it with its hand raised up and we'll enter our prompt. Here's the person just as it's drawn in red. For Nano Banana Pro, we choose Nano Banana in the older version, click on make. And similarly, we choose the GPT engine and also click on make. Okay, first Nano Banana, the character was added quite well. It has very accurately captured the essence of this character with one hand clearly raised up. We are now patiently awaiting the remaining results. GPT has done its job. Unfortunately, it also added an artifact on the building, but the character is there. Let's also take a look at the character's face. Well, the quality here is a bit degraded in my opinion. And let's also look at Nano Banana Pro. In my opinion, it performs best in these challenges. He truly captured the human scale. He reproduced the figure and did it really, really exceptionally well here. So in this case, Nano Banana Pro wins these competitions. Sometimes it also depends on the prompt, how we draw a person, and it might take several generations for one engine to show even better results. Now, let's see how these three engines handle climate change in our photo. We're going to illustrate this with the example of our very first project. As for what was here, we can now simply go ahead and remove it. And now we're going to select our winter prompt, then we'll set the horizontal dimensions. And after that, we'll hit make for GPT, we'll perform the exact same steps for Nano Banana and Nano Banana Pro, we'll click on make, and then we'll observe how they managed to handle this particular task. All right, let's take a look at the results now as the very first one Nano Banana in its older version has rendered, you can see a little bit is it lacks detail here, but it's still managed quite well. Now we're checking GPT, it handled it very well, in my opinion, when it comes to the level of detail. Unfortunately, here, we also see that it cropped the image for us. Because as we just mentioned, it only has three resolutions to choose from. And then Nano Banana Pro, 
Let's see. Well, this just looks pro. Uh, the level of detail is very high. It even recreated the sidewalk. It didn't do what Nano Banana did in the older version, where it just covered the entire building in snow. The same applies downstairs. So this detail really works wonders here. And it even put frost on the windows. We didn't want it. But in my opinion, that also really makes a big difference. It changed the whole landscape very, very nicely to a winter one. Let's check here. There are still leaves on the trees. It just changed their color to white so that's unfortunately out we look here no leaves so it's much better and here we check well in my opinion this looks the most realistic of all the other engines and finally a little christmas touch because christmas is coming so we're going to go ahead and choose this Christmas prompt. I'm going to click on make now and then we'll review them one by one. The Nano Banana in its previous version actually turned out quite well. But in my personal opinion, there were just a little too many of these bokeh effects generated here. And in this one, there are, well, even more of them. I think the picture is a little too much on the grainy side. But when it comes to the actual styling, it also looks pretty good. And we're looking at the Banana Pro. Honestly, I think he went a little overboard with the included features. But when it comes to the actual quality, I'd say they... Uh, perform quite similarly with a stronger emphasis on Nano Banana Pro, in my opinion, when it comes to precisely adding these kinds of intricate details to our photographs. In VisMaker, a brand new update has just been released, which you might have already noticed at the very beginning. These are essentially projects. You can effortlessly save and load all of your ongoing projects that you're currently working on. You can also save your present work and you can even merge it with those projects that you already possess right now. You can store all these projects on your computer and also send them to others so that your work is even more professional. Therefore, load Loading projects is done very quickly and very conveniently. You can merge them. You can, of course, save all of them and they will then appear right here in the projects tab. A new update will soon be released allowing for real-time collaborative project creation. So there's definitely something to look forward to and new engines will regularly appear here with us. So if you don't have VizMaker yet, I strongly encourage you to download. You can do this very quickly from Microsoft Store just by typing VizMaker right here. Once you find our application, the install button will appear right here. So I encourage you to install VizMaker now. VizMaker also now offers the option to export your project to PDF. You can freely arrange the pages here. You can also add a title page and a watermark. We export to PDF. The entire process functions very efficiently and the exported project will be located on our local drive and our desired watermark has been added here. So this is an optional feature that's available here. If you need to send a visualization to your client, for example, one they haven't paid for yet, then you can certainly make use of our watermark feature, which I strongly encourage you to do. In VisMaker, we've also recently introduced some brand new rendering engines, specifically Flux 2 and Seadream V4. If you'd like to see a detailed recording about these two powerful engines, then please let us know in the comments and we will do our best to prepare such a video for you as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.